Good morning. We made it here to Santa Cruz. We camped overnight in the Redwoods, came down, and now we're just unloading our kayaks. This is our first time here. Uh, we ran into some other anglers who gave us some good tips, and um, we've got a little launch that's right here. So we're gonna get these loaded up with our gear, get out in the ocean, rockfish, halibut, Dungeness crab. So I think it's gonna be an exciting day. Care video? Yeah. Everything's different now. Everything that you knew about this channel about me, that's the past. Going forward, this is Pink Care Ashley. It's very different. It's very exciting. It's like, uh. What's the main difference, you ask? I just have to watch and find out. Today I'm going crabbing and dropping a few crab pots here out in the Santa Cruz area. So I thought I would show you how I set up my pots for crabbing. So I have two different kinds of pots today. <clears throat> I have a cheaper pot, like the cheapest pot that we could get, and one of the more expensive ones. Now this was an all-in-one sort of pot, so it came with harness, buoy, rope, everything that I needed to go crabbing. Now this one was a little bit cheaper and we had to buy some additional pieces to complete the set. So we thought it would be a really fun experiment to see if it's worth it to get the round, more expensive pot or if the square one works better. This one has a little bit different of a door system than this one does and it's a little bit smaller than the square one is. So we thought we would throw them both out, fish them a little bit and see which one ends up getting more crab. So right now I'm going to go ahead and set them up with a little bit of bait. Now we have kind of a mod podge of different um, bait that we're using today. Mostly we're gonna have chicken. We have chicken legs and then we also have some like really old fish, really old freezer burned fish. I don't even know what kind of fish it is. Nice rock fish. Yeah, really old pieces of rock fish. So that's gonna go in one pot. This is gonna go in probably both pots, but I'm just gonna shove some, some chicken into our little cage here. This one has like the kind of like center built in, sort of feeder. But this one has the mesh bag. So I'm gonna fill up this mesh bag with our chicken. Freezer burned and delicious. Save a couple pieces so we have some for in case we want to use. Um, okay. Crab traps? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. And then I'm going to add some of this freezer burned. Ah, old rockfish. I think that's might, you might not be able to break that up. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking that too. That might be going in whole. Oh, yeah, that's looking icky. So uh, where are we today? What's, what's going on here? So our location today is Santa Cruz, which is on the Northern California coast. It's a beautiful area, but this is actually the first time that we've ever been here fishing. So we're kind of on explore mode today. I mean, even though we've never been here, we know how to fish, we know how to crab. So we're gonna go out and apply the skills that we have learned and we've gathered and just apply them to a new fishery. This is one of my favorite things to do because there's an aspect of exploring that gets to happen here that I don't usually get to do in other places that I'm more familiar with. So that's why this is going to be a really exciting run today. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it apart. Oh yeah. 
little for you. A little bit more for you. Make it all nice and stinky. Hopefully some of that fish oil kind of yeah. gets out. Yeah. And then the rest is going in the net. Let's wrap it up then. All right, so I'm gonna hook these up in my pots. We're gonna go out and drop them in the ocean and then we'll check and see if we get some crab a little bit later. Right away, this is a little bit of a tough deal to like get your stuff into. And I don't wanna just like set it in there. I kinda of wanna like suspend it a little bit. So you kinda of have to be a little bit tricky on how you're gonna do that. I think that this is how I'm gonna do it. It's just like, just like this. But the other piece of this that I don't know that I love is that, nope. um, whoops, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, open it. There nope. we go. So I'll fix that in a minute. The other part that I don't love about this is like there's these rubber bands that keep your doors closed and if you don't remember to flop them all open, you don't have any crab because they're all gonna, it's like this one's shut and they're black and they're the same color as everything so you don't really, unless you're like really mindful of it, you're not gonna remember that these close. So it's cool to be able to close them but um, if you don't remember to open them before you drop them, you have shut doors for your crab pot and those are the only ways to enter this crab pot. So I don't love that piece of it, but nonetheless, we're baited up and ready to go. Let's go see if we can catch them. I wanted to run through some of the safety things that I bring with me before I leave the shore. The first thing that I bring is always a personal flotation device, my PFD. Now I always use an actual life jacket instead of the inflating ones because I don't want there to be any room for error. And if I go overboard, I wanna know that I'm going to be floating. This one's cut so it's comfortable to wear on a kayak. The second thing is a dry suit. So when you go into the water in the ocean, the water can be very, very cold. And if you have a little bit of cold air plus cold water, you can go into hypothermic shock really, really quickly. And a dry suit can keep that from happening. Another thing that I bring out is my marine radio. I can connect to other fishing people that are out on the water, and I can also call into the Coast Guard. The next thing is my safety knife. If I go overboard or for some reason get tangled up in a bunch of ropes, I have a knife that's right on my chest, easy to grab and to cut myself out of any situation. I also have a whistle. Now this whistle will even work if it gets really wet, if it's raining or if I get splashed. This whistle can call for a long ways. Another thing that I always have, even though I have a pedal drive on my kayak, I always keep a paddle with me. If for some reason, you know, fishing line gets wrapped up in my, in my uh, propeller or for some reason this fails me, I always have a backup to keep me mobile so I can get back to safety really quickly. The final thing is I have a good plan. I've checked the tides. I know the weather is going to be good. There's people that know when I should be leaving and coming back and I have a fishing partner. These are some of the really, really important things to bring out when you're out on the ocean. Always check your tides and weather and make sure that you have a good safety plan in place. Have a great time on the water. Today we are doing three things, halibut fishing, crabbing and rock fishing. So I have my crab pot set up on my kayak and here's what I got set up for halibut today. So I have a double hook set up like we're running herring because we're running herring. I have a dropper that's going to go to my weight and a bead chain on a slider. But essentially I'm going to be just slowly sort of trolling around and looking for 
halibut. Now we're going for California halibut. I have never caught them, so we'll see how it's going. Uh, Matt, who is holding the camera, hey Matt, is also running the same thing, but he's using a flasher on his. So we're gonna see which one the halibut might like a little bit more. We also have jigs ready for rockfish. Like I said, I've got a crab pot full of chicken and some old burnt fish. So we're gonna drop those out, do a little bit of fishing. It's a beautiful day in Santa Cruz, so hopefully we can show you some action. What do you think so far? I think I'm excited. I think it's gonna be super fun. Getting ready for all the fishing. There are bait fish jumping everywhere. Hey, did you bring your um, butt stuff with you? My butt juice? <laughs> Hell yeah. I forgot that I was immature. <laughs> I hope somebody else catches a hell of it that isn't us. So I can be like, Hey! Got a little butt. <laughs> hey, hand me a... Uh, I'd like to measure this butt. <laughs> I have a measuring. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not okay. Butt jokes aren't funny. Yeah, they are. They are. drop a pot. Found a good spot here. There's a lot of bait around. Seems like it could be a good crabbing location too. So it's time to see what we can find here. What have we seen so far? So far we've seen a lot of bait. I have marked a few balls of fish, which has been cool. How deep water are we in? We're in about 40 feet of water, 38 to 40. using for rod and stuff. I have uh, my Battalion 10, great saltwater rod, my Fathom reel, and I'm using a Lancer jig. I can see myself bouncing on the bottom, it's so awesome. Got him out of the bait. All right, let's go. Let's get that other crab pot dropped. Got myself my hook, very sharp hook. Yeah, so 
So we are trolling using some weight and we have some cut herring, nice and spinny there. And we are just kind of bouncing along the bottom and trying to pick up some California halibut. Now we're going to be trolling fairly slow for these. We're in about 48 feet of water right now. And so I'm going to find the bottom and just kind of drag it along. That's my plan. Is there any other type of fishing that you're familiar with that this could be like? I mean, this is a little bit like salmon fishing, um, but different fish, so we'll see how it does. Fish on. Ooh, check that out. We're shaky. I don't know what it is. I didn't go over a ball of rockfish, but... What could it be? All right, should be coming up here pretty quick. You're off fish. <laughs> there you go, Ash. One black sea bass. There's a start. We gotta start. Bye, friend. Excitement. Huh? Said excitement. Excitement. Well, that was exciting. That was very fun. And I was kind of hoping it was gonna be, but it but it was not a butt. It was a black sea bass. That's okay, that means I'm on the board. There's been some action. The fish like my little twirly spinny hailing. So this is good news. Let's see if they like this one too. Were you right on bottom? I was right on bottom, yeah. And we dropped into like a foot or two, so I was like adjusting as I went. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. But let's see if we can get another one. But please. One butt, please. I'd like to order a butt. Hail butt. All right, let's see what kind of twirling we've got going on here. Ooh, okay. All right, we got a death spiral. We got a death spiral. We're gonna drop her down on the button. You can hear the buoy dinging around. I'm headed towards this buoy out here. Marking a little, oh, I'm marking some fish. That's been a first though. I haven't really marked much. Let's see if we can find bottom. Where is it? We should be about there. Oops. Oh, there it is. Are you kidding me? No, oh, that felt weird. I thought there was a fish that just jumped on. What are you out on your line, Donna? Um, I didn't set it. All right. Bye. Fish, 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 fish. What do we got here? I like my spiral. Oh yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it going to be a sea bass? Yes or no? Cast your vote. Please be a butt. Oh. We're fighting very similarly. A little bit stronger. Could be a little bit of a bigger sea bass. Ooh. Another sea bass. Sea bass! Start calling me bass ash. Here we go. There it is. Mr. Bass. They like my herrings. They like my herrings. Another one. There it is. 
Bye, fool. Uh, yeah, definitely a bigger fish. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Seems like it could be a ling pod. <laughs> what are you? What's your vibe? Vibe's bad, vibe's bad. The vibe's bad. <laughs> what are you? Whoa, it's a ling pod. Little ling. Check it out. Ling, 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 ling. Not, not the right size. Hold on. Little ling. Okay, first California. Oh no, you've got a bigger California. Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. He was hooked well. Not happy about the situation. I do not blame you, sir. I will try to make this quick. Here, hold on. Let me take a picture quick. Ashley. Yes. Oh, nice one, Matt. You gonna keep it? Uh, I don't know if it's a keeper. Measure it. How long do they need to be? Uh, 22? 21. Ooh, so close. 21. 21. <laughs> 21. So close. So close. Bye, buddy. That was cool. More, more. So we're gonna have something? I don't know. Yeah, it's not even close. Uh, it's kinda close. We're about 15 feet. I can mark it I mark it on the fish finder. <laughs> Oops. Super duper exciting. Really? You ready? wants to eat. Chicken! I love chicken! There we go! Woo! So, what's your what's your prognosis here, Miss Ashley? Not the best. <laughs> we haven't, Missing a leg. <laughs> we, have, we haven't crab for dinner? We, we do have a crab for dinner if we want it. Big male crab. Yeah. I we don't so. have any way to cook it. Well, we can put them in the pot. Or we can put them in the... What pot? Put them in the crab pot? Looks like dinner. Looks like dinner to me then. <laughs> so, the... What do you think about pulling that pot up and everything? I mean, it was really heavy to pull. I thought there was more than one crab in it. But not so much. That's okay. But, um, let's see if the other pot has something else. Kay. Maybe it's different. <sighs> All right, there we go. Right. What do you think, Ash? I think. Oh, two! I think I got two this time. <laughs> More rock crab. We got a female. We got one male. The male is pretty good size. Tickle, tickle. Oh no! You just dumped all the bait. You dumped all the bait in here too. Of course, she's gonna hang on for 
for dear life. So, no large discernible difference between the two pots? Nope, not yet. I'm not noticing anything worth getting too excited about. Should pr probably put all the bait back in there before you close it up. Well, that's why that happened. I didn't realize the door was completely off like that. Oh. Rocky little cliff trail. Like little wildflowers everywhere. Flowers, beautiful colors on this little rock face that we're on. Hey friends, welcome back. We ran out of batteries on everything yesterday while we were out fishing. We had so much fun out catching fish. We caught rockfish, we caught lingcod. We didn't bring anything home with us this time. We did catch some crabs, some rock crabs, some of those bigger ones that you saw us pull out of the crab pots. That was so much fun. And then we ran out of batteries on every single thing, went back to our campsite, had a nice campfire, packed it up, and now we're exploring the Big Sur area on the California coast. We had a nice breakfast in Santa Cruz. We found some really sucky views to spend some, to waste some time at. So we thought we would look for other potential fishing locations for the future and uh, see what the weather was like down here. I've never been to Big Sur, so I certainly wanted to check it out. Little Oli wanted to check it out too. He is very curious, very curious. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring and show you some of the fun that we're having on this portion of our trip. So welcome to the California coast and Big Sur. The people behind me. Let's talk about it. They're up there. Oli. Oli, come here. Get off the edge. Oh my god. Oh my god, that stretches. That stresses me out. He's like, oh, let me jump around like, you. Hopping over, from here to here. Over that gap. Oh god, I can't even look down there. Let's talk about these people fishing up here. So I'm seeing a rock face and they are surrounded by water with a tiny gap to get over there. I have no idea how they got up there. I have no idea how they plan on bringing fish up onto that rock. And once they get fish, I have no idea how they're planning on getting them down and then back over to safety. But I'm very interested in how they do that. I am half tempted to sit here long enough to see like what happens next. I will be fishing, probably not on that, but I will be fishing somewhere. So let's go figure it out. Ready, Bubby? You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Is you ready, Bubby? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
sea and the waves. <laughs> Monterey Beach. Monterey, Monterey Beach. That's Monterey right there. This is a beach and here we are. We had such an awesome time going down the coastline, checking out Big Sur, checking out some cool trails, some delicious food, some good sights. And now for the puppy to get a little exercise on the beach and we're enjoying the last bit of our day before we head inland and go home. Thank you so much for joining us for this coastal adventure. Uh, if you love this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join our community. And I can't wait to see you for the next adventure. See you next time.